Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with another Tucson haul. This is also from the day at um, the casino. This um, booth is John Bead and I really didn't, you can't buy anything here because it was a wholesale booth, but I wanted to show you these lovely pieces of art that their designers made. So we had those gorgeous neon necklaces, this embroidery, and then another embroidery hoop featuring fruit, which you know I love. Um, I really didn't do much in this show. I only hit a couple uh, different vendors. Um, this one being Patricia Healy. So I'm going to take you quickly through her booth. She has some really cool stuff. Um, she works with copper. Uh, and these are just some of the pieces that caught my eye. And then I'll show you everything I got from her booth. Sneak peek. <laughs> And then um, it was really fun talking to her. She's a great storyteller. Um, it's just, it was, it was a lot of fun shopping her booth too. I know I'm going a little fast, but it, I, no matter what I do, no matter how much I slow it down, it still is just going too fast. In person, it seems like I'm going super slowly. That's why I pause it a couple of different places so you can see what I'm looking at. And then this was just another seller. I didn't make it back to their booth. I'm kind of sad, but I'm also kind of happy because it was really expensive. These are shells. Everything in this booth was shell, and they were just absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's part two of um, my hauls from Tucson. This one is just the rest of the things I got at the casino. Um, the colors, colors of the stone, to be true blue show. Um, so first I just stopped at this little stand and got a couple of pieces. Um, I have some of these actually from, I think Nina, but, uh, and I don't remember the seller's name and I went back to buy more for my bead group and they were out. Um, love the little leaves here. These were $3 a piece, which is pretty good because I think I paid $8 or before for them, but they're so cute. I love them. I think they would be good if I could find, could have found, um, match better matching ones I would say earrings but I think these will just be part of like an, um, a necklace I think like this one hanging below like a jade medallion would be really cool with knotted pieces or maybe some some turquoise or copper with it I know it's silver but some copper with it would probably be pretty cool and then the only other thing I got I think this is also three dollars there is this um, spoiler alert uh, I bought quite a few of these um, from somebody at African Village and I will be having a pop-up sale in my bead group um, and or just through my Facebook page. I don't I don't know how we're gonna do that yet. But if you've been looking to get your hands on some of the Afghanistan, this one's from Pakistan, but I've got some Afghani ones. Um, stay tuned because I've got a lot. Then I hit um, Patricia Healy and her um, beautiful copper pieces. Here is her information. So I saw some of these designs on her Facebook page and I just could not wait to get them in person. So let's see. This was the one that drew me into her booth because it's just hilarious. And she told me there was a beautiful story behind it. It says, please beat me up. I love space. I love like just thinking about aliens and stuff like that. Um, I just love that little saucer. I have some alien like polymer clay cutters. So I can't wait to like pair something like that with this. I love the cacti, the little girl, the moon, the stars. It's just the coolest pendant ever. Um, <laughs> and uh, just to hear Patricia say the story in person was hilarious. Um, then I got a little charm that's stamped with the same ufo stars and moon um and then a connector with the same and then some pine trees <laughs> it's just giggling it's so cute um i got this um toggle clasp that's a hand which i just thought was so cool and now that i'm thinking about it i got a strand at the gem mall that might want to pair with this. So stay tuned for that. And then um, she is such a good sales lady. She has a bunch of um, pieces of jewelry on her booth and I'll put a picture here. Of her items used in pieces. And I 
kind of my eye kind of glossed over this pendant but then I saw how she used it and I just I thought it was a super cute necklace so I thought oh I could do that or I could do something similar so I bought this it's a beautiful sun and then just everything I had said had some celestial some celestial element except for the um the toggle but then I bought this because um it's a coyote baying at the moon and we have coyotes here in Phoenix. I hear them probably every other week uh, outside. So, and I've actually seen one while I was on my walk. He was just walking down the street next to me. I'm like, oh, hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> but I just thought it was so cool. So Arizona just made me happy. And then that is handmade and just a beautiful color. <sighs> I had such a good time and just talked to so many cool people. So that's what I got from Patricia Healy some beautiful beautiful pieces and before this video is over i think patricia healy has her own drawer in my artisan cabinet but i'm not sure so we'll check that out and then last but not least i hit um unicorn beads who also has i think like two drawers in my in my cabinet but this i think they're full so we might need to we might need to do another drawer or something um i got uh this one jumbo bead I like it. I would use that as a button most likely. I've done that with one other bead that I bought from them like that. Even though I have tons of them. This multi-strand, which is just cool. I think it was $5. I think all these multi-strands are $5. And this was in their um, clearance section. I didn't buy anything that was full price just because they had such cool stuff in their clearance section. Um, that's the time to, to hit them, <laughs> to hit their booth. Um, I just thought these were so neat with that sparkle, that AB sparkle in there. I don't know if you can even tell with the glare but there's like a rainbow going on there with um aurora borealis sparkle and all those little bubbles thought those were beautiful um this one like kind of looks <laughs> when i was a teenager like i didn't drink it but goldschlager <laughs> that's what that reminds me of and this was five dollars marked down from like 18 i think so very cool very sparkly in there love it I don't like cinnamon, that's why I didn't drink it. <laughs> and I didn't drink it until I was in my 20s. Uh, so this is pretty neat. I didn't really know um, what the color was while I was looking at it, but I thought it was cool with the little different striations, but it looks like some are gray, some are purple. Um, another multi-color one. Did I get two of these really? Oh, they're very different. So, wow, look at that one right there. Like, this one is really cool. It looks like a rainbow in there. These little mini bubbles just make me so happy. Then I got, like, an orangey, apricot -y peach one. Just different shades of orange and peach. And then last but not least, I got a yellow strand. So this yellow strand is not just um, one type. We have matte and, like, a, a glossy, but the glossy has different tones of yellows in it. So I thought that was pretty neat. And actually all the yellows aren't the same either. So it ranges from like banana to macaroni and cheese. <laughs> On a scale of food, how much do you love your beans? <laughs> Yummy to delicious. <laughs> anyway, we had some beautiful beads. I think my favorite thing here was this for sure. It's just so funny. It's just so funny and I love it. And I love how whimsical her stuff is. And it just reminds me not to take myself so seriously. And I think we had this conversation while we were standing there. I'd be like, mm, if I could take my dog and my beads and the aliens were cool, I'd be gone. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite thing was. Um, check out Unicorn Beads and Patricia Healy. I'll put the links below. Uh, let me know what your favorite was and stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. Oops, I forgot. Um, Patricia Healy has, I guess I have her share a drawer with Green Girl Studios, which might need to change because we're coming up on the, the haul for that. But for now, I'll put her things in with the other things I've purchased with from her in the past, which were back in September. Um, oh, I didn't realize, I forgot she had buttons. I didn't even see buttons this time around. I would have loved a button that had the aliens on it. I'll have to contact her to see if she has any of those. So I'm just going to put these away for now. I know some of you like me like seeing how I put things away, so I totally get it because I love it when other people do that. Um, so there we go. On to the next one. Hey, kitty. You want your blankie? Yeah. 
It's mommy's cutie. You're so adorable. Love you.